Hi, this is Lady AD, Keep on Frozen Ministries. Thank you so much for your responses from last week's broadcast. It seems that talking about persecution and political correctness has certainly hit a nerve. I think very few of us have not experienced one or the other to a lesser or greater extent. So it's been good to carry on the conversation with you via email. I thought I would continue talking about it because it, it raises the question, what do we do when we are opposed? How do we react and how do we respond? It seems that we're being asked to be counter agents, perhaps. Read the blog because I give five ways of working out who is an opponent and five ways of what our responses could be. But you know, whatever the response is, it has to come from a loving place. We are asked by God to love one another as ourselves. We have to love ourselves and then love others. Now this isn't just a pick and choose time. And if we don't come from a place of love, we soon know about it. We feel stressed in ourselves, we feel distressed, we get angry, we tell everybody our story and it doesn't sound good. We know in our hearts we didn't behave in the right way. I got caught out this week on two occasions actually. One, when um, something didn't go right on the internet and the when I went to the company to say, look, I want it sorted out. I was put in touch with someone who was foreign, foreign to the UK that is, not foreign to their own country, and who just replied according to a script. So wouldn't take my, my point of view into consideration at all. Just kept saying, no, these are the rules and regulations and there's nothing we can do about it. It was later res resolved. But I found that my tone to him got curter and shorter and snappier by the moment. Same thing happens when we get these phone calls, usually at tea time, asking us of whether we need PPI or the better one, which comes through more regularly now is, I hear you've been in a road accident or you've had a car accident. Like, how do you know that? No, I haven't. Where did you get my number from? usually ends up with the phone going down. None of which is done in a loving manner. None of which is of mega importance really. And yet, and yet. So I am being taken to task. If I can't get the little things right, how can God trust me with the bigger stuff? The bigger stuff when I'm in trouble and I'm feeling persecuted and I'm feeling a, you know, a victim to political correctness. And I want God's protection or I want to know what to do about it or how to respond. If I can't be loving to strangers who are doing their job, then how can I be loving to my opponents? That's my challenge. What's your challenge? So yes, I'm glad I'm a work in progress because each day I get up thinking I need to do better today and I need to really show love to others. That's my challenge. Obviously in Lent, um, a company called Open Doors is doing a lot more about those who are persecuted for their faith in other countries. So much they can't go to a church, they can't have Christian music, they can't have all the things that I take for granted here in the UK. So that and the blog, have a read. Let me know what you think. Keep your comments coming. I love to hear from you and I will respond to each and every one of them. Lady AD, keep unfrozen.